Hi everybody, happy Saturday afternoon. It's Diane here and I um, wanted to give you a little bit of, um, not advice, that's not the right word. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the different activity trackers and fitness trackers that I've had. I've, um, If you've um, been following me, then you know that I got the leaf, which looks like this a few weeks ago, and I have been using it for a few weeks, and I used it in tandem with my Microsoft Band for a little while to see um, if they kind of tracked the same things, and um, just wanted to give you a little info. So just uh, back before I got the Microsoft Band, I had the Fitbit. So I've had the little Fitbit first, the little one that you, um, don't mind the squeaky toys, that's the dogs, um, the little Fitbit one that you can clip on, and that got washed in my jeans twice. Um, they did replace them though, so which is good. And then, so I went from that one to the wristband. I think it was the um, the charge, not the HR. I didn't have the heart rate on there, but the charge, which I liked because I liked the, having the time on there. I liked it that it was a watch. So I really liked that one. That was great, and I liked the Fitbit um, community. Like lots of friends are on Fitbit, and you can, you know, you have your app with the challenges, and you can do all that great kind of stuff. So I really liked that about the Fitbit. But um, I, I had a lot of friends that had the Microsoft Band, so I wanted to check it out, and, you know, I wasn't going to get the Apple Watch because I'm not really an Apple girl, but I want, I'm a Microsoft girl, so I wanted to check out the Microsoft Band. So what I did was I got the Band 2, which looks like this, and my camera's backwards, that's why. Um, so this is the Band 2. I'm charging it because I haven't worn it in a while, and it was out of battery, and I wanted to show you the screen. So I, I when wearing the Band 2 since March. And the, the, the band actually cracked here, but I took it to the Microsoft store and they replaced it. They gave me a whole brand new one. Um, I guess that was in September. So I really like the band. It's not, I mean, it's very thick. So it's, it's probably about the same size as my Fitbit, but it's, it's a little bit thicker, um, like the, the mechanics of it, you can see. And that's, um, that's how it does your heart rate and whatnot, and uh, it's the sensors. So I like the band. Um, the reason why, let me, in fact, let me turn the um, camera around, put this on my desk. All right, so focus. So I like the band because, get into it, you can set the screen. It's like a little computer almost. Uh, I haven't worn it today, so that's why I have no steps. But you can get into your steps there, and you can go this way, and you can see how much charge you have and your heart rate and Bluetooth and all that. But the band is like the Apple Watch in that it brings in lots of stuff. So this is Cortana. This would be my uh, my note, my instant messages that I get on my phone. The weather there. I can track my workouts. That's the reason why I like the band the most is because I can track my workouts. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, my email, my phone calls. I can't talk through the band, but I can text message back. I can talk into it through Cortana and text message people back, which is pretty cool. My calendar, going for a run, going for a bike ride, sleep, so it tracks sleep. Um, my alarms, hiking, Facebook, so any Facebook notifications can come through here. This is my instant messages. Um, no, that's my notifications, I think. And this is any updates that they have and the settings. So those, are, and you can have different tiles. You can have up to 12 different tiles on there. And then there's ones I don't have on there, like the Starbucks app. I don't need that. And there's other ones that come with it. And then there's other things that you can buy with it. Don't mind the dogs. They're just playing. Um, so the main reasons why I like the band, and I wish it would focus because this is bad video, is because of the fitness one. So if I go into there, I can say start exercise, and it, it tracks my exercise. So it tracks my calories and my heart rate and my steps and everything while I'm working out with it on my wrist. And then um, I don't need to have my phone. So what's really cool too, oops, let me go back in, is, oops, let me go back, is like when I, shoot, I had a missed call, is the, um, you know, the running one or the biking one, you know, I don't have to have my phone. Let me turn this back around. So I liked it because I don't have to have my phone, you know. So before when I used to go for runs, I had to have my phone tracking, you know, everything. So now I could just wear this and I don't need to have my phone with me, which was really cool. And I would wear this and it would, I could run and it would track, you know, via the GPS. So it would connect to GPS and it would track, you know, how many uh, miles I've gone and my heart rate and all that. So I really liked the Microsoft Band. What I didn't like about it and why I now have this leaf on my wrist is the, the fact that I was too connected. So I had it set and I could have turned the notifications off. I could have done that. 
but my wrist was buzzing all day long because of my Facebook updates and my, any any notifications I get on my on my phone, like everything. And I know I could turn them off, but I I just didn't. And and it was really leaving late, making me have more stress. So I there was a time you know in like mid September when I was really stressed out and and things had to change. So one thing that changed was that I took this off my wrist. Um, it's, it's big and bulky and it's okay. And I, I, I still will wear it for runs and for hikes and for, um, and for, you know, when I, not horseback riding, that's, that's one of the apps, one of the tiles, but for bicycling, if I go bicycling so I can track the GPS and all that. But, um, I needed to look for something that was not as intrusive in my life. And so I found there was an ad on Facebook for the leaf. Okay. So I checked it out. And there are two versions of the leaf. There's the original leaf, and this is called the leaf urban, which I believe is a little bit smaller. And I, the design is a little bit cooler. So the leaf comes, um, it can be worn as a clip. You can clip that big part of your shirt or in your pants. That's how I wear it for when I exercise. You can wear it as a bracelet, and it also came with a chain. So you can wear it as a chain. That's an adjustable chain. So I really like it because... It, it does, I can set an alarm on there, I can set a few alarms on there, and I can have it remind me if I don't move for a certain amount of time. Like if I sit for an hour straight, it buzzes, and then it reminds me that I need to get up and move, which is great. It tracks my steps, it tracks my calories, it tracks my sleep. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, um, I took screenshots of the app because when I do live video, I can't show you the app on my phone. So I actually took screenshots, that'll be on my computer in a second. Um, so I really like it because it's beautiful, it's very pretty, and it still tracks my steps and my activity so I can enter my exercises. So it's not as automatic as this one with the exercise. I mean, when I did the exercise on here, entered right into the app automatically, all that. But it's still, um, it's, it's what I want right now. It's what I need in life. I don't need this buzzing on my wrist all day long. So I'm gonna turn the screen around and go into my computer and show you the screenshots of the app because it's beautiful. And you know, this the, the leaf is definitely for women. Um, it is something that I don't think men would appreciate. I mean, it's beautiful, but, um, but I love the fact that because this and the Fitbits, the, they're smaller Fitbits, but the bigger Fitbits that are more power, they're not so great looking on your wrist. And everybody's used to them because everybody wears them. But um, I love the look of this leaf. So I'm going to turn the computer around, the uh, phone around. Here we go. All right. So this is what the app looks like. Please focus. Maybe if I get closer. There we go. So when you go into the app, this is what it looks like. I took the screenshots from yesterday. So the calendar's at the top. So this is like your steps and your activity. This is your sleep. This is your meditation. So it is has built in a guided meditation in there, and you can set goals for how many minutes a day you want. This is your stress level, and this is period tracking. So it also has, um, if you're trying to have a baby, it has, you know, like an ovulation calendar and all that kind of stuff. And then every day it gives you some kind of tip. So with regular activity, your digestive system becomes more efficient. Wonderful. Okay. So the next screenshot, this is what the activity page looks like. So it shows you your hours of the day and when you were active. Um, and then I could scroll down there and see my activity for the day and the steps. So my workouts there and I can add and I can share and I can do all that stuff. All right. Next screen over is the sleep screen. So it automatically tracks your sleep if you're wearing it, but you can also enter your sleep um, it gives you little tips about sleep. I have my sleep goal at seven hours and I haven't been reaching it lately because this day I woke up at three, which was awful. All right, moving on. The next one is, come on computer, ah, is your meditation. So I did, I don't meditate every morning. I try to, but I went through um, the present moment four minute guided meditation on Friday morning. So that's there. I, I am trying to do this more and more. It's kind of strange. I'm not used to it yet, but I'm trying to do it more. All right, next one. This is your stress level. So what it does is it takes all your activities, so your meditation, your heart rate, your sleep, and your, um, no, this is, I'm not sure what that one is, I forget. Um, your sleep and your um, activity level, and it shows you your stress level, so to speak. So it says that I'm pretty resistant to stress, and I can scroll through here and show you each, each like you said, it has sleep and it has almost separate. And then the green is the current day, and the blue is the day before. So it gives you a comparison. All right, and then this is the menstrual cycle one. So you can put in when you get your period, and then it tracks your period, and then it gives you information about when you're going to get it next. Sorry, guys, that's not so exciting. So let me turn it back around. Come on. 
So that is what the app looks like, and um, I like it so far. I've been using it for about two weeks, maybe three weeks now. Um, so I think I really like it. So I that's my review. I like it lo lots. Now, one thing that I didn't like about it is it takes about four to six weeks to get to you. So um, if you're thinking about getting one for the holidays, you should order it sooner than later because it's not like Amazon Prime where you're going to get it in two days. And that's just the way it is. I don't know if they make them, you know, if they're created per order or if there was back order. But I, it took about four weeks for me to get mine because I ordered it in mid-September and I got it in like mid-October. All right. So if you want to know any more about the leaf, let me know. Um, I really do like it. It's pretty. It's like a wraparound bracelet. Pretty nice. And um, have an awesome rest of your Saturday. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.